Hey guys, Justin from YourDino.com here. So today we have installed the new YourDino Ultimate and the new YourDino Valve uh, in this engine room here. And we have tested this uh, M BMW M5 engine. I'm going to show you how we did it. So we installed the valve like this. So in a really nice setup with uh, dampers and everything. It's um, this is the, the best way to, in, to install it in this direction, but it could be the other way around too, with the uh, motor down or to the side. Here we have used the, this, um, the brackets, but again, it's okay actually to just hang off of the, of the valve itself. It's good if you manage to connect it some, somehow like this. Okay, so then the stepper cables go up into the, the cabinet here. We have a job to do to clean up uh, all the installations here. But uh, this is just the first uh, thing we did to make it um, uh, to make sure it worked. And the Yordino box go in here in this uh, room. We're gonna make, of course, a nice tidy setup. Uh, we hooked up all the thermocouples uh, like this. So there's a panel of thermocouples, and uh, they of course go directly into the Yordino box there. And um, we hooked up a few other sensors, temperature, boost, and stuff like that. The RPM sensor, that's the Ordino RPM sensor here. We, for now, we just hooked up uh, like that. It reads just one uh, uh, pulse per revolution. That's okay for a test, but this means you cannot compensate for inertia effects. For that, you need a trigger wheel. We have a trigger wheel, of course, that, that we're going to mount, but uh, not today. This is a, a land and sea brake, and it has the load cell here. This is the land and sea load cell uh, that uh, we hooked up. Um, just the original load cell directly into the Yordino box, and uh, we calibrated it uh, here. All right, we are ready for a test here. Okay, so we're going to do a sweep from 3000 to 7000 RPM with a 400 RPM uh, per second sweep rate. Uh, so it's set up like this. We have played a bit with the gain and the derivative factor, so 20 uh, on the gain and 0 0.02 on the derivative factor are good numbers. All right, let's go. That's the power and torque curves up to 7000 RPM, so about 600 horsepower for, for this engine. So here you see the RPM versus time in, in red, so that's a super nice and clean sweep. You can see the brake uh, adjustments here, it started around 14-15%, went down of course a bit to make the, the sweep start, and it regulated with the no signs of any instabilities or anything like that so really nice so we did uh, three runs uh, one after the other uh, up to 6000 rpm just to see how repeatable it is so as you can see these are the three runs and they were all within one horsepower or less than that and that's at over 500 horsepower so 518 19 horsepower all within 0 0.8 or something so that's pretty nicely repeatable. All right, guys, that was a, a quick intro of the, the first test we did on this uh, engine dyno here. We're going to make a few cleanups and uh, make a new, uh, new video later. But uh, great to see that uh, it all worked perfectly.